Hello, my darlings. Happy Thursday to you and welcome to Design Me Devon. We are going to be here renovating another one of your guys' builds and I'm very much looking forward to this one. This one uh, is gorgeous. I think you guys are going to love it. We're going to go for a cottage core slash hall vibe today. Um, I don't know where the hall came from, but we're going to go with that. Um, but yes, I think that was the shortest intro in the history of this channel. But I've got nothing left to say. <laughs> so with that being said, let's get on over into into game and we'll have a little nose at what we're going to be renovating today. I spoke really weird then. Off we pop. Okay, my darling. So here we are. We are at Meadow House. This was done by a very talented Sims 4 YouTuber as well. I will link Simply Coco's YouTube channel down below in the description box if you want to go and check it out. He's a great builder. I think you guys would really love him. So get over there and send him some love and tell him I sent you. So Simply Coco 1994. This is Meadow House here. The landscaping, I just had a, a nose at it. You guys are going to die at the landscaping. It's got to be one of the best landscaped houses I've ever seen in The Sims 4, quite easily. Um, so, the description. The house was once home to an old couple of 60 years. After the husband passed in 1985, his wife went to be with him only a few months later. The house has been abandoned for over 30 years. Sam just graduated from Brychester where she majored in English as an aspiring author. <laughs> Looking for her first home, she found this unlisted property in Windenburg. She quickly fell in love with the secluded home sitting amongst a beautiful meadow, perfect for a writer. There's some more here as well. With a budget of 40,000 simoleons, can Design Me Devon turn this old home into a semi-modern cabin of Sam's dreams? She also wants a home office to do her writing and second bedroom for guests and and a future family. Place the lot if you can. The gallery images do not do it justice. And it really doesn't. I think you're going to die when you see this. So let's flop over and have a little nose through, shall we? And here we are, my loves. I mean, this is on a 64 by 64 lot. And look at this landscaping. I am floored by this, Coco. This is absolutely amazing amazing it's got a little pond area over here as well look just look how beautiful these flowers look together i love the fence as well i may fix up the fence in fact i think i will i'll fix i'll use the same fence but i'll fix it up so it kind of looks newer like it's been mended so this is the house in question uh it's it's so cute so so cute you can see it's obviously a bit run down got a couple of old cars out the what's around the back i haven't seen around there yet oh cool Oh, look at the little details. Oh, this is amazing. This must have took you so long to do, especially the landscaping. My God. Whoa, this is lovely. Oh, it's got those little like um bug box things. We'll definitely keep them in as well. And we're going to go for cottage core hall for this one. Definitely. I think it's got all the vibes. Um, So let's have a look inside, shall we? Let's get that grid off. We don't want to see that. So obviously we've got a little porch area here. You come into a nice little hallway. It's a bit messy. Absolutely gorgeous. What have we got out here? You've even put in tiny little pieces of grass to make that look like something's growing out of it. The detail, the eye for detail, I'm for it. All the kitchen could do with a bit of a <laughs> bit of a tidy up, that's for sure. Definitely. And then it's got a dining room in this part here lovely let's go through this way so this is going to be the living room i'm guessing yes it is oh okay okay and then it's got a bedroom on this side as well i'm feeling we may have to extend it a little bit which i don't mind i don't mind i may make that the modern part because it's semi-modern i don't really want to modernize this too much i think it's too pretty as it is i do want to change the style of it slightly i think i think this is very kind of crafts money i may go for something a little bit more cottagey i may even try a thatched roof on it or something i don't know but we're gonna we're gonna go down that route i think this is astounding coco you should be applauding yourself at the work that you have put into this even just the 
the details of the chairs like all oh my god i'm for it absolutely for it but yeah i think we need to extend this out i think my what i'm gonna maybe do is do a small porch area i'm going to knock through this wall here and have this as the living room maybe put the kitchen out on an extension here and have the office out here as well change where the toilet goes get two bedrooms in um and maybe put the dining room over here so the kitchen's here I will, i'll have a hallway coming down here and having the dining room here i mean it would make sense to have the dining room here but it's got a fireplace i want this to be in the living room so it'd be like a living dining area so and it's not far to walk it'd be fine yeah i think i'm gonna go down that route okay well wish me luck i'm going to go and i'm not going to touch this landscaping this landscaping is just i'm we, we need one more look at it i mean look at it it's beautiful <laughs> how long did this take you i would like to know get in the comments simply coco and let us know how long this took you because this is astounding and guys as i said don't forget to go over download this from the gallery as well simply coco 94 and follow him on youtube as well as youtube is linked down below too Okay, my loves, finally, did I just get 15 minutes through this blabbing on about shit and then realise that my mic was muted? Yes. Yes, I did. Am I fuming? Slightly. But here we are anyway. <laughs> so, the clean-up process, this took quite a while. It really did. And the amount of detail that you put in this cocoa, wow, amazing. I made sure to save a lot of the furniture there. There was a lot of great pieces that I think, oh, I could use that in this place. The vibe that I'm going for. So you'll probably see me putting a few things outside in the garden as the build progresses. Now, my God, this build is going to be late anyway, let alone me just like blabbing on for 15 minutes then without unmuting my mic, fuming. Um, but... The amount of changes that this exterior of this place went through. I think I had four separate looks that I was going for with this place. I had a thatched roof on it at one point. I've kept most of it in. So you guys will see the kind of differing changes. And you might have even preferred one that I decided on not going for. Um, but the end like result um, only came to me right at right at the very end when everything was in the interior was done i went ahead and changed a few other pieces <laughs> it's just oh my god seriously it took me so long to get the exterior right and that is why this video was late but as long as it's out on the right day you know that's all i'm gonna say um you, i did keep the fence as well i kept the fence i made sure to get rid of all the broken pieces and just keep the pieces that were already fixed up and i go around and put them all in the same spot again as well and it looks lovely. I love the way it frames in the meadow and stuff. It's really, really nice. But yeah, I can't believe how many changes with the exterior that I went through with this. Just in, until I was happy. There we go, you know. But it ended up looking great at the end, in my opinion, anyway. So this is what I'm doing now. I'm clearing the pathway. So I'm just shuffling along the landscaping slightly just to get this nice clear pathway. Just to make it look like it's not too overgrown. It's a constant use footpath, you know. And I love it. This lot is so big that your sim actually runs to the door from the, the edge of the lot. She's like, <laughs> like having a jog right up to the back. I love it. Um, but yes, very nice. I get rid of these planks as well because I've used these planks before. And I think they do stop your sim from walking through it. So I end up getting rid of them. And I do like little stepping stones all the way along this path instead. And it looks really nice. It does. I do enjoy it. Oh God, my face! You should. Have, my face was a picture when I just I realised that I wasn't recording. You should just well, not record. I was recording. I was muted. Very, very fuming indeed. So yeah, that's what I'm doing with these stepping stones now. As I said, I wanted this little like cheeky pathway just going up. So I placed these all the way up to the front door, and I just think it looks cute. I think it looks cute, and I think it just adds a little bit more dimension to this like otherwise kind of like soil dirt path. I think that was very nice. Why did I just do a blackout transition there? <laughs> oh, no. I hope I didn't do that all the way through. If I did, I don't care. It's staying in. <laughs> it's staying in. I've had it. I've had it today. <laughs> I didn't even get what I needed done today as well because I had another video that I wanted to pre-record today to be able to edit tomorrow. 
and I didn't get a chance to do that because this took the majority of my time today plus other things around the house and stuff that took a majority of my time too but oh we're here now we're here sometimes when one thing goes wrong multiple things go wrong you've just got to learn to rein in your anger because I could have punched my fist through my monitor just a minute ago but I didn't because I'm I'm a yogi <laughs> and I concentrate on my breathing exercises <laughs> But I was near. I was nearly, nearly going to slap. I was about to slap a child. I won't. I won't. I won't lie to you. I won't lie to you. <laughs> there was a child in my vicinity. I'm joking. I'm joking. By the way, I do not condone hitting children. <laughs> Just need to get that out there because people don't get humour sometimes. And they'd be like, "Oh my god, so you're going to hit a child?" <sighs> anyway, change the windows. I do change the windows. I go for all the snowy escape windows, obviously, because I'm using them to death at the minute, but I don't care. <laughs> I love using them. I love using them. They go on quite a few builds as well. Um, oh, I've just realised. I've just realised. I was pissed off in gameplay because the smoke was coming from the centre of the chimney. I was like, why is it doing that? That's so annoying. It's because I lifted the chimney up with a 9k. I get it now. Okay, I was about to write a heated letter to the gurus. So I won't lie to you. So anyway, first look. We go for this light timber with grey windows. Nice. Like it wasn't the vibe I really wanted at the end. I was just like, no, it's not for me. It's not for me. It's not for this house. We're not for it. Um, so that's that's look number one. <laughs> that is look number one. Um, and it, it looks nice. And some of you guys might think, oh, no, that looks really lovely. I think what it, it was just, it was not sitting right with the meadow for me. It looked too crisp, looked too crisp and too new. And I just wasn't for it. So we would end up get, getting rid of that one. We don't go for it at the end. Um, this is me changing the roof shape slightly. I wanted to make the roofs just a little bit more rounded. I wanted that cottage vibe to come through rather than that crisp kind of craftsman roof line. I end up sort of rounding the roofs up a little bit more. And yes, I think it looks nice at the end anyway. As always, I get rid of all of the wallpapers and stuff. It helps me concentrate when there's this blank kind of uh, canvas. So this is me getting the floor plan together. So I did go for what I was going to say as well. I put the kitchen in this bit here. We extend the hallway here, put a toilet there, and then right on the very end is where the office goes. And the office is very, it's semi-modern. It still blends in with the house or the cottage, but um, I put modern windows on it using the Snowy Escape modern windows. And it just helps blend them in because you, if you use the same wood tone, I always find, and you use modern windows with um, classic windows, uh, I think it I think it helps. I think it does help. So it has extended the size out. You can still see I'm at 32,000 simoleons. Um, and this is not even me getting rid of a lot of furniture either because I kept quite a bit of the furniture and I didn't get anything hardly back in um, kind of deleting them, if you know what I mean. Uh, I'm definitely in the future just going to stick to the budget. Budget? The budgets? Rather than like getting money from around the lot i think what i'm going to do in the future with design me devon is stick to the budget that you guys give me um so don't be mean don't be mean give me that moolah that's all i'm saying yes and then we go for this stone on the back as well which looks great i like it i like this stone with this cottage i think it sits well with that siding too and this is me now darkening down the window slightly and then thinking oh god i've got to go through and darken everything and i do and i show you how i do it I just think this put a little bit more depth into the build and I liked this. I did actually really, really like this look here. Um, this was the one that I was sure I was going to go for. Um, whereas I didn't in the end, not at all. <laughs> not at all. But I like this one here. But when I did this one, the palette of this was very, very um, like stark. If you know what I mean, it looked, it's very plain. Sitting against the meadow, it wasn't, giving me vibes so that was why I decided on going for a stone in the end um a stone and uh a darker siding I think yeah I did <laughs> god yeah stone and darker siding which is what happened and it looks nice it does I prefer it at the end anyway I did end up having to move a few of the trees and stuff around just so I could place things where I wanted them to be and stuff. And it worked. It really, really worked out. So this is that office that I'm talking about here. So I end up getting rid of that window because I didn't want it to be too near the door that I'm going to be putting in here. And it's such a nice little area. 
and the view out from where she would write like i mean that would inspire anybody it, it was just gorgeous so this is the final floor plan obviously mine is where i'm going to put be putting doors and arches and whatnot um so this you walk into a little porch this is the living and dining area and then it's got the kitchen those are the two bedrooms that are off there they're very kind of similar in size which is what i wanted really master bedroom may be slightly bigger but i like it and i use the same wood as well i use that one wood from jungle adventure or island living one of those two i can't remember what wood that comes from actually um end up going for the same wood i just like it all the way through the house as well apart from the bathroom and it's just very nice. Did have to get rid of a few, a little bit of landscaping here just so I could open out this area because I end up having a little garden moment here with places where the, what, one of your sims could grow their own veg and whatnot outside. And I just thought it worked well. Go for the uh, snowy escape wallpaper inside as well, the timber wallpaper. I think it's very nice. And this is me getting the fence sorted out as well. So we're fixing the fence up. I did keep a lot of this in, which is probably why the... I don't know how long this is going to be, actually. I think it will be quite long. Um, yeah, so which is why I have probably kept in quite a bit of it. But it's very nice. I do like it. I had fun doing this. And I just took my time with it as well. Like all day, I was like, oh, God, I need to like get this done so I can get that done. And then I was like, what are you stressing about? Stop it. So I did. And I had some lunch, had a little break, took Blue for a walk, just chilled out a little bit. And then I got back to it. And I was thinking this video is going to be late now, but... Your mental health's more important, loves, as I've always said from the beginning. So that was what I did today. And tomorrow is just going to have to be a recording and editing day. I'm going to have to make sure to, because the schedule worked really well this week, pre-recording a few little bits here and there. And then, um, but it didn't help with this one because uh, it just didn't. It didn't. Anyway, over here, um is more fencing i thought we were going on to do something different then but we're not we're still fencing so i kept quite a lot of this fencing in but as you as i liked i tend to skip quite a bit out of my speed builds because there's lots of me kind of like ifing or arming with swatches you know what i'm like you've seen me build in life um whereas this one it came together quite nicely apart from the exterior the exterior was the one for me that i was still looking at it like even when i was doing the landscaping i was still keeping my eye on the cottage and thinking you're not right I don't know what it is about you but you're not right but it is nice I do like the swatches on the outside now and the siding that I used um but I think I prefer it at the end some people some of you guys may not have but for me it's just the vibe I wanted anyway into the interiors so as I said I really wanted this neutral earthy tones using recycling a few of the objects that we've like left outside as well um and I, I just had this cottage core vibe in my head coming through. And that's exactly what I wanted with this place. Now, ignore the bookcase I'm using here. I think it looks nice in here. I just think it was a little bit too contemporary from the style that I was going for. I ended up going for one of the base game ones, actually. And I just think it suits this living room a little bit more. I, my, my eye kept capt catching the bookcase and being like, oh, you look a little bit, little bit too modern for in here. It doesn't. If it To me, it, I think it suits it. It just kept catching my eye. And as soon as something get, starts catching my eye in a build, I know I have to change it. That was exactly what went on with the exterior. Um, but I did. I changed it and it was better. And that is all we're going to say on the matter. Um, so dining room, I really want mismatched chairs. This was a massive trend uh, yonks ago on The Sims 4. Or in The Sims 4, everyone was doing it. I just think it suited the vibe of this house because of that cottage core kind of vibe. And I saw an image on Pinterest as well a few weeks back that had this dining table with all mismatching chairs. And I just thought it looked very lovely. Very lovely indeed. I end up littering this place as well in plants. And oh, I can imagine a single Sim living here. I can imagine a family living here. But I don't know why. I just, I would imagine a Sim who's... A bit of an introvert living here and um, maybe just got a handful of friends who they have over and whatnot and um, close to the family maybe but just likes to live in the middle of nowhere by themselves i would i say i would like to do that but i think it would frighten me i think it would frighten me living very rural and being by myself there if i had someone there all the time perfect but imagine being by yourself rurally rurally and 
being uh, like at night and then someone knocks at the door you best believe i would be grabbing the biggest kitchen knife you've ever seen in your life if that happened oh <laughs> i would crap myself i really would <laughs> anyway we're off to the kitchen now so we did the dining room into the kitchen i love this kitchen this kitchen was really cute it turned out lovely use the jungle adventure tiles the gray ones with lots of wood um and i used the snowy escape um kitchen counters and nice a little bit more of a semi-modern but i just liked the open kind of like shelving that they've got i think it suits like that cottage vibe nicely do you end up putting a washing machine in here the kitchen layout did have to change slightly you'll see that in a minute i end up i end up putting a a little dresser here instead where i'm putting these and i just think it suits it suits it so much better than what i had going on here anyway um yeah this is what i was like oh we can put that here i've just realized do i get rid of the things behind it oh no i don't look oh well they're there <laughs> there's herbs growing behind that um <laughs> there's herbs growing behind that dresser well you know maybe it's maybe it's her extra bit of revenue she grows weed behind her dresser. <laughs> oh, i can't believe i didn't even think about moving them silly but I like this vibe. I like how it came through. One thing I will say, I had I put the bin in an awkward place. Oh, you'll see where I put the bin in a sec. I put it here in this corner where we're working now, just in front of this counter. Um, I end up moving it over into the right side. Main reasons being the sim wouldn't use any of the little corner counters and stuff that I left out for her. Fussy, fussy cow. So I ended up having to move the bin off into the corner, but it's fine. That little corner is not used in gameplay anyway so it made sense to have a bin there but i just love the vibe of this kitchen i think it's really really cute and i can imagine the smell of it as well like really woody woody and sh like stew <laughs> i don't know why but i just had that vibe when i was building this can't believe that i didn't get those herbs off the wall very silly bum very silly bum <laughs> so you guys have got a little present you've got a little present when you go to download this <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, my dear. Anyway, into the master bedroom. A few changes I do in here as well. I think I end up using a different wardrobe to that one. Oh, no, I, I just darken it down. I know something changed then. I don't like that wardrobe. I just think it suits the vibe of this house. Um, So I used it. I used it. It's very bohemian. I was trying to get this sort of like handmade -y vibe across with everything. So mixed mismatched furniture. That bed looks very handmade -y, like a woven headboard at the back and all of the rugs and stuff rugs all of the kind of duvets on top that it's got um and i liked it i really wanted to use this in here but you place it watch look at that shadow i i'm i'm moaning again it's me when is the build not me moaning but the i wish they would fix the shadows and lighting on all of the objects mainly the stairs and the plants and the banisters fix them as well why are you there <laughs> but yeah i like this bedroom i think it's very very i don't know it's cozy it's inviting i was trying to get loads of things up on the stools but everything i tried to use was just not working and they're just a little bit too low so when you lift them up with the nine key people keep telling me to get the red shelf back i know i need to get it back in my game so i will very soon i promise and I end up going for one of these rugs. They're not the, my favourite rugs. I just think, again, the aesthetic of it, that rug suits this room perfectly. And there's a little picture of the meadow. The fence, if you will, that she fixed by hand. Um, Into the office. So into the office. So this is the modern bit that will be extended out. Still kept... Oh my god, there's a fly in here. Very dramatic. <laughs> um... Yeah, I still, still kept it classic looking from the interior. Obviously, it's got these big wide glass windows, but I didn't want this room to have any kind of like modern vibe to it as such, apart from the windows. So you can see I use classic furniture minus the kind of orthopedic sort of like office chair that I'm seeing there. Um, yeah, and it looks nice. I think it looks nice. And as I said, you'll see the views in the um, video tour at the end. Gorgeous gorgeously stunning looking over a meadow i mean how lucky would you be if this could be your life i would be i would die when when we move to our next house i mean i'm not ready to move anytime soon but when we move to our next house office is obviously going to be a big thing for me and i would love a view from my office so that would be 
on the wish list, I think. Just a nice view from my office with a big window. <gasps> I would be here for it. I really would. But yeah, cute. I think the office is kind of practically done. What do I put here? What am I looking for? I have no idea what I do here. What do I do? Oh, I put that plant. I put that plant there. I was looking for something. I was thinking, eh, nothing's working. Went to put an Alexa in. Realised it was big and ugly. So I just used the little speaker in here. So when she is writing, she can get her fun up as well by listening to a bit of music as she's... And this is me going around. This is another one. So I go around to put stone on it. Um, it started to come a little bit more now. Now I go and round the roofs off slightly. So this is one of the changes. It changes from this as well. Seriously. I like this vibe. It was just not doing it for me. And then I put a thatched roof on it. This looks cute as well. This look was good. It's nice that you can just change little slight details and get a completely different look on everything. Then I got around to the modern bit and I was like, oh, the thatched roof's not working on the modern bit. So I put the tiles from Snowy Escape on the roof instead and changed the trim up. And I was like, oh, I don't like that either. I was going for this for a while as well. I darkened down the siding. I think, oh, God, I don't know if I like that either. And then I go into the interiors, <laughs> into the bathroom. <laughs> um... It's only right at the very, very end I get rid of the thatched roof and go for the snowy escape tiles we used on the back. I do that all over the house, all, all, all over the cottage. And I just think it looks nice. I just think it looked nice at the end. I was like, right, that is it. I'm not touching it. But even though of that, I still liked the um, second iteration we went for. I still liked that one. But... We ended up going for the fourth in the end because it's in the video tour now and I'm not changing it now. Even though in my head I'm like, maybe we should have stuck with that. <laughs> but indecisiveness, I still like the vibe that we get out of the final product anyway. And that's all that matters, isn't it, my loves? Yes, it is. Like this bathroom as well, an eclectic mix. Still wanted to keep it very cottagey. Trying to use this shelf in places, I was like, where would it make sense? It would make no, because then the towel would be like slapping the sim in the face while they're in the bath. And that, was that, that annoyed me. And then I was looking at the wood tones and thinking they're bloody awful. They annoy me. All of the tiny living wood choices, just they were just not for me. They were awful. Um, orange and they just don't go with anything else. That's the main thing I hate about it. They just don't go with anything else. And it winds me up no end. But I do like this bathroom. Using, obviously, the same tiles as well from the kitchen. I just think it was very nice. So, guest bedroom. I was running out of money here. I've only got 5,000 simoleons left. So, I was like, right, I want this guest bedroom to look like it's kind of been makeshift. So, obviously, using crates for the uh, side tables. The bed from Outdoor Retreat as well. So, it looks kind of like handmade and whatnot. Then I was like, oh, God. If you do, like, a 4 by 4 room and you try and put a double bed in there for a bedroom... You're kind of screwed because you can't hardly fit anything else in there. Um, kind of like furniture wise anyway. Um, so I was struggling here. But your sims can get around here. I've player tested everything so they can get around everything. Um, and I ended up going for this base game one. And I think it looks nice. Changed that plant as well. It's just not. It looks nice that plant in here. But I go for a different vibe. You'll see that in a little bit. How long have we got left on this video anyway? Am I waffling on? We've got two minutes my darlings. Two, two minutes to the bottom. But yeah. I do really enjoy the way that everything came together right at the final end i just thought it was nice but i'm definitely much more of a fan of the interior than i am with the exterior of this house from what i did um and that doesn't happen too often but it's quite refreshing when it does quite refreshing so very much for it very much for it indeed um what am i doing now trying to put change that plan end up going for that one there instead we put a little plant in this corner as well i do end up sizing this down if i remember rightly there we go um, and I just put, I'll use this chair as a side table instead. Again, I was trying to keep it makeshift, wasn't I? So we use a crate and I do a little chair side table. I thought that was very inventive and I'm very much for it. Last little bit now. So obviously around the corner, I cleared this area up a little bit so I could get in a garden, a little area where they could come, do a little bit of gardening, get away from their writing for a while, you know? Um, and still using a lot of the objects that were already here previously as well, which just worked out great in my eyes. And obviously a clothesline because we got a washing machine on this lot. So I did want a clothesline. Imagine just pegging your, your washing out in the middle of a meadow. Oh, that sounds like some Herbal Essences kind of advert, doesn't it? Well, that did as well. The noise that I just made. <laughs> Why are they always having an orgasm when they're washing their hair? I mean... 
I'm not for that at all, to be honest. <laughs> Not for it at all. And then I go ahead and put in some landscaping as well. And um, some terrain painting as well with the stone and whatnot. I just think it looks bloody gorgeous. Anyway, my loves, I'm going to finish up here. Thank you so much for watching this build. I appreciate your face. Sorry this video was a little bit late. I know I don't need to apologize, but I am anyway. I'll be back tomorrow. Um, I'm going to leave you now with a gorgeous video tour of the before and after shots. Goodbye.